In this video, we will be talking about convection. Just to review, heat can be transferred in three ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. Convection is one way that thermal energy can be transferred through a fluid. Fluids are substances that can flow and include liquids and gases. Convection does not occur in solids, and we'll talk about why in a moment. Convection happens because of differences in density between hot and cold parts of the fluid. Imagine you have a pot of boiling water and you put it on the stove. The water at the bottom of the pot is now heated through conduction. As the water molecules near the bottom of the pan heat up, they move faster and faster and they start spreading out. Because the water molecules are now farther apart, the heated water is now less dense than the cold water above it. The warm water rises and the cooler water above it sinks down to replace the warm water. As warm water rises, its particles transfer energy to the cooler liquid at the top. And these particles that rose up get cooler and they begin to sink down. Meanwhile, the particles of cold water that sunk down to replace the warm water well, they get heated up by the stove, and the process starts over. This heating up and cooling and heating up and cooling creates an up and down motion in the fluid called convection currents. Convection currents help spread the heat from one area to another. You probably see many examples of convection every day. A pot of water on a stove is one example of convection and convection currents. Convection is the reason that air at the top of a room is warmer than the air at the bottom of the room. It's because hot air is less dense and it rises. Hot air balloons use convection to fly. Convection currents also play a huge role in moving energy throughout the Earth's system. Convection currents are important in transferring thermal energy throughout the geosphere and the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. In order to have convection, particles must be able to move freely. This can happen in liquids and gases, but this can't happen in solids where the particles are fixed in place. That is why convection does not occur in solids. In summary, convection is one way that thermal energy can be transferred through a fluid. And the thing that drives convection is differences in densities.